Hi everybody, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. So I'm coming at you today a little under the weather. Um, I just picked up the camera quickly because I wanted to tell you that today, October 10th, I have rejoined Facebook. Now it's not what you think. So remember my video, Why I'm Leaving Facebook? I think I posted it in June. Um, and I have loved not being on Facebook. I do not miss it. It's actually one of the best things I've done. It's liberated me. I thought I couldn't do it. Not because I'm like so addicted, but I thought like, uh, like I, I've just realized you don't need to be on Facebook. Like you're not going to miss out. You're not, it's not like I've lost my friends now because they can't contact me. It's actually awesome. You don't even know the stuff that you don't know. It's great. Like shit has happened, like terrible stuff. <clears throat> And I just don't. Blissfully ignorant. But uh, some of the videos I've been doing lately for YouTube, I felt like I really wanted to share on Facebook. I don't have to, but I want to. And I'm going to test it out for a while. So I was like, the only way I'm going to go back on Facebook is if I can like get rid of my entire news feed and get rid of all the trending negative news from the right rail. Now, I know they've changed it up a bit so you don't like see the story, but... I don't even want to see headlines. I don't want to see anything. I don't even want to go to Facebook for fun. I only want to use it to promote my shit. So I'm going to tell you the two Chrome extensions that I downloaded that enable me to have both of those things. I have Facebook exactly the way I want it. So there's probably these extensions in Firefox. I haven't really looked into it. I'm, I'm sure there are. And if you're using Internet Explorer, then just kill yourself. Simple as that. Okay, so that was fucked up. The two extensions that I use, the first one is to get rid of your news feed, and it's called News Feed Eradicator. And you just download it as an extension, and literally there's no news feed that shows up. And in the place, I mean, you can still write on your own wall, but that would be lame. But in its place is uh, like an inspirational quote about not procrastinating. And even that, you can click into it, you'll see, and you can remove the quote. So it can it's just like a blank space. The second extension I downloaded is called Remove Trending Facebook. And this simply makes it so there's no trending news on your uh, Facebook page. It's just a white box instead of those annoying headlines. So with all that said, this is what my Facebook looks like now. Is that not a beautiful thing? To me, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. And now, like, if I'm getting notifications I don't like, I'm just blocking the notifications. So even if you go to Facebook over and over again, it's pretty boring because there's nothing to see. So far, so good. <laughs> um, okay, so that's my update. I am back on Facebook, but now with these tools, I said if I could figure out a way to block all the annoying shit, I would come back. So I did. Uh, we'll see though. If it doesn't yield any real results for my YouTube page, I probably will get rid of it again. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.